<laughs> so then I have to close my book and I'm really pissed off because obviously it's been two hours and my car should be done getting the oil changed. I start to think to myself, uh, maybe I should write a book. Maybe I should make some money. So in my head, with a couple of my friends, I'm not going to drop anyone's name because it's not your business. <laughs> chapter one is going to state, she's just not that into you if she's fucking all your buddies. <laughs> I'm just stating the obvious, guys. Because I had a buddy in college have a girlfriend, and she slept with like four or five of his buddies, is now married to his brother, and he still thinks he's got a shot. <laughs> he's not from Georgia. That'd be his sister. Chapter two is going to be, she's just not that into you if she slaps a restraining order on your ass. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we have any cops in here, but I can guarantee you, you're not going to bargain with the cops. Like, hey man, I didn't mean to slap her that hard when we were arguing. Easy, Chris Brown. But, I slapped her a lot harder in the bedroom. That's going to get you nowhere. And there are guys back here. I thought I was safe. <laughs> no, my, no, but really though, my last chapter of my book, it, it's only going to be three chapters because if people read as fast as I am, you're going to get bored and you're not ever going to pick it up again. <laughs> it's going to say if she, she's just not into you if she tells you her cell phone didn't die, but she wishes you would. <laughs> that never happened to me. Uh. I'm just saying. No, so anyway, I walk back across the street. I'm pissed off. I pay for my car. It's supposed to be a $29.99 oil change. It's like $74.50. Anyone else have that problem? You go in there for $30, bucks, next thing you know, you pay like triple. Right? $30 tripled is $75. Do the math. <laughs> so by this time, I've had a full day. I'm tired. I'm athletic. I need a nap. <laughs> but I got to get groceries first. <laughs> so I go to IV. I don't know about anyone else in here, but I like to go to places where I'm familiar with. And this fucking Hy-Vee at Ankeny is completely backwards to the Johnson Hy-Vee, and it really pisses me off. I am a right-hand shopper to the left side. I start at the right, go to my left. Ankeny, you gotta start on the left to go to the right. You don't have to, but this is why. I like to go to the produce aisle first. I don't buy shit there, but I like to go to the healthy shit first. <laughs> Sometimes I throw a head of lettuce in my cart just so people think I'm eating it. <laughs> you walk by that single water, like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> Even married, mom, I don't care. I wrote the book. <laughs> no, but so then anyway, I get my ten items so that way I can use the express line and get the fuck out of there. And what happens? You get that damn lady in front of you with the seventeen items, she's in the ten items or less aisle, and she wants to bitch about everything. She's bitching that the water should have been $3.49 instead of $3.99. After they get that cleared away because the bagger had to go check on it to come back up, she then wants to dig in her coupon for the 15 cent coupon to save her on an 88 cent paper towel. People, I don't know if you know my roommate Brian, but that is exactly what it is. Yeah! <laughs> Biggest guy to ask here. He wanted the show to start at 7 because he didn't want to spend more than $10. <laughs> So no, after she gets that squared away, that's fine. Great. Oh, guess what? I forgot. She's a fucking dinosaur. She's got to write a goddamn check. <laughs> I didn't even know checks existed anymore. And I was crying because I haven't written him one in like six months. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't worked for that. I'll pay you though. I will. <laughs> No, so really, I'm sitting there and I'm getting pissed off. And when I get pissed off, I got the sweating problem. <laughs> I sweat a lot. I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. You always fucking piss me off. Yes. And so when I start sweating, I can't stop. So like, I got this sweat dripping on my nose, discoloration under my boobs or whatever. And if this lady even looks at me funny, I'm going to take her in the parking lot and Chris Brown her ass. I swear to God. No, but really, that's kind of serious. Chris Brown, what do you guys think about that? Anyone know what I'm not talking about? You in the back? Okay. That's fine. Put your head down. No, but this guy, like, what, 20 years old? 19, 21? Doesn't matter. He probably lied on the first tip of day anyway. But, uh, you know, he gets in a heated argument in the car. He wants to bite and scratch and, like, pull her out and hit her. I don't know. Is that foreplay or what? 
That's right. <laughs> so, okay, it's not foreplay. So then what does she do? She wants to press charges on her? I don't, I don't really get that, but, uh, you know, it's, it's sort of like our country was like, supposed to be moving forward or whatever. You know, we've got a black president, Barack Obama. Yeah, he, black man beats a white woman. He doesn't get arrested. He's our president. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one's mad. No, but really, seriously, I just read today. I read today on Yahoo that Barack Obama had to give his dog back. Yeah, he had a coon hound and it kept treeing his kids. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. A lot more people want to laugh a lot harder. This is awkward. Garnett, I might need you up here. No, but really. Um, anyone here work at Wells Fargo? Anyone? I know there's a lot of people, so if you don't fucking raise your hand, I'm going to start calling you out. Yeah, there's one tight ass. Anyone else? Yeah? You? What, what department do you work in? If you even say the credit card services, I swear to God, I'll kick your ass. I'm going to tell you why I got a problem. These fucking guys call me every night at 9 p.m., not a minute earlier, not a minute late. If I haven't paid you in six months, why the fuck am I going to pay you tonight? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Anyone in here unemployed? Unemployed? No one, no one in here is unemployed. Hey! You, you two are? Oh. No, not me. Let, me, let me tell you something. There's a guy up here that's unemployed, and there's a reason for that. And you probably should be unemployed too back there, the guy I work with. <laughs> <laughs> you say you can't hear your alarm? Whatever. Bukhara, if you wouldn't watch internet porn until 4 a.m., you'd be able to get up. <laughs> And Jared, I don't even know what the fuck you do. <laughs> now, where's Ben Vogel at? Hey, Ben. Raise your hand. Let everyone know who you are. <laughs> it's my friend Ben Vogel. We call him Crazy Ben Vogel. We don't really care where he works. The problem is, is he drinks seven nights in a row. He's late to work every day, and he still has a fucking job. Use that for motivation. <laughs> No, but really, guys, I want to appreciate everyone coming out. Like a couple more beers for uh, the Cougar softball team. Vinny Tessaverde over here would really appreciate it. Uh, uh, I'm going to call back up Jason. I want to thank everyone for coming out, guys. And, uh, have a great night. No, I don't. Give it up for Josh Dobson, ladies and gentlemen. He's available for children's parties starting next week. Wow. Well, we've, we've touched on abortion and domestic abuse, and ha ha, that's hilarious, but racism's even funnier. Huh? Yeah, what'd you do last night? I have no idea. Uh, this reminds me of my segue.